We now come to the Acts of the Apostles and to Peter and John as they ascended the steps into the temple at Jerusalem where they, or rather, where Peter, Pope Peter, as the Romanists would have him to be, healed a man who had been lame for 40 years. <clears throat> 40 years he'd been lame. And outside the gate called Beautiful. <clears throat> now then, what was it that Peter and John had said to him? Silver and gold have I none. All I have I give unto thee. Take up thy bed and walk. And he did. He arose. And immediately his bones received strength, didn't he? Hmm? Rise up and walk. That's what they said, rather. And he did. I'd like to see that from this man of sin who says he's Peter. Hmm? Give all his vast fortune away and to say silver and gold have I none to go round on his feet, on his pins and to heal people because that's what Peter did. Hmm? Well, we look forward to the day and we know that the day will not come. Eh? And indeed, Peter goes on, does he not? In chapter 3 of the Acts of the Apostles. Hmm? As the people came to them. And as in verse 11, and as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. You see, they had itching ears, these boys. <clears throat> wondering. They were all taken up with marvels, mysteries. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? In other words, don't turn us into gods. That's what they've done to a man, a man of sin. A man of iniquity. And they still worship him today in the Vatican. Hmm? Peter continues. The God of Abraham. And of Isaac. And of Jacob. The God of our fathers. Hath glorified his son Jesus. He is a God of the living. Not the God of the dead. There are persons even today that say that when we die, we die. There is no more. There's no life hereafter. We're dead, and that's it. And there are those that have crept into Christendom and continue to preach that we sleep in the ground, in the earth. And that we shall rise for the last day, that we don't go straight to heaven. And that the Holy Ghost was lying when he said through Paul, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And Jesus Christ lied, according to them. When he said to the repentant sinner, whom God had granted repentance, the revelation that Jesus Christ was the only saviour, that works are not saviour, but Jesus Christ in his finished work. And Christ said to him, This day thou shalt be with me in paradise. 
And we know that Christ rose into heaven to sit upon the right hand of the majesty on high, having purged our sins, the sins of the church. So the repentant thief went to heaven with Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as soul sleep. God is the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. They are living. They are not asleep. They're not dead. The God of our fathers hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up. That's a rebuke to the people. Whom ye delivered up. There was none of this. Oh, trust in Jesus. Put your faith in Jesus. Accept Jesus. None of this nonsense. And here we have Peter going around Jerusalem as an apostle to the Jews. And there we have this thing in the Vatican who sits there gorging himself. Doing things that are hidden behind doors that, quite frankly, we would be astounded at. Absolutely astounded. Why does he and his cronies cover up child buggery? Hmm? And the rest of it, slave labour? Hmm? Why? Because he's the man of sin. Son of perdition. Whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate. When he was determined to let him go, you wouldn't let him go. Pilate was determined to let Jesus Christ go. But you lot, you fiends, wouldn't. You hellish fiends. Oh, that's anti-Semitism. Yeah, well, you tell that to Peter. And you that tell that to the Holy Ghost who's speaking through Peter. Hmm? What you need is to get right with the Lord. And the only way you will ever get right with the Lord is if he grants you to be so. Can't do it yourself. You may put, a, put away your attacking us, which is hardly likely, and attacking Peter here for being anti-Semitism. Hmm? Oh yes, you can speak the words of this world. Follow the politics of this world. Use the very vocabulary of politics of this world. Anti-Semitism. Hmm? You know more saved than Donald Duck. Hmm? Whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. So you overruled Pilate. But ye denied the Holy One. Which could never be said of Moses whom they followed. Denied the Holy One and the Just. Which Moses wasn't. And desired a murderer to be granted unto you. That's your fiendish heart. You Jews. Hmm? This is what Peter's saying. By the Holy Ghost. You fiends. You'd prefer to have. A criminal. A murderer of all. Persons. To be released. And an innocent man. To be put to death. Not at your hands. Oh no you won't dirty your hands. You won't soil your hands. You'll have others to do it. Isn't that popery and Anglicanism all the way? Eh? Hand the righteous sons of God over to the secular authorities. Oh yeah, you, you wash your hands of it. Oh yes. And Peter goes on to say, And killed the Prince of Life, whom God have raised from the dead. Whereof we are witnesses. So all you're trying to kill the just one. The prince of life came to naught. 
Oh yes, you thought. Oh, we've triumphed. He's in the grave. He's in the tomb. We've triumphed. No, you didn't. You thought yourselves like everybody else in this pernicious world to be the sole authority. And what you say and what you do, others must listen. You are the sole authority. No, there is one greater, your creator. And killed the prince of life. You killed him. You murdered him. Oh no, says the Judaizers. They didn't kill him. Oh no. Well, you you contradicting the Holy Ghost here by Peter? Oh well, uh, yeah, right, okay. You won't answer it. But you'll answer it before God. You can prevaricate. You can run down this alleyway, run down that alleyway. Try to drag us down this this way and that way and every other way instead of answering directly the word of truth and the word of truth is that Israel murdered callously vindictively murdered the prince of life they wanted Moses they wanted works for justification they didn't want justification by Jesus Christ. He denies them justification by works. But justification comes by an act of God, not an act of man. Hmm? And his name through faith, his name, not Moses, and his name through faith in his name hath made this man strong whom ye see and know yea the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all hmm? faith given to him by God he didn't have the faith before. Faith isn't a mindset, as the neo-evangelicals teach. Oh, just <clears throat> set yourself to believe this of Scripture and that of Scripture and everything else of Scripture. And if you deny what the Scriptures say, which they themselves do, then you're calling God a liar. But if you accept, then you will be saved. Hmm? That's the perniciousness of neo-evangelicalism that comes from Romanism. All roads lead back to Rome. Come back in a second. <clears throat> 